Over six years ago, I posted the first video on this channel which featured a white E36 328i. Today that same car is back, only instead of swapping the drivetrain into the black E30, we will be swapping it into a car I owned in high school, a 1996 318i convertible. Stay tuned as we transform the 318 into the car I could only dream of 16 years ago. It's time. We're going to put the car up in the air. We're going to start removing the drivetrain. So I think I'm going to start with the exhaust. But underneath of here, we've got our four cylinder, wherever the hood releases. So we've got the four cylinder in it. It's been a good engine. And it started right up to move it over here. Zero problems with that. And it's got an automatic in it, as you can see in the interior. We're going to have to pull the shifter out soon. This will have an M52 in it, B28, with a 5-speed manual. Let's take a look underneath the car. It's been in a garage for about the last 10 years, so it should be pretty rust-free under here. You can see we have like oil dripping off of here. It left a nice spot on the other side of the garage. And that's because the valve cover on this is leaking profusely. The belt on it's all cracked up, which you probably can't see from this angle, but it's pretty bad. Surprised it actually made it here. Other than that, all looks like it's pretty good. This is turning into a tighten until it gets loose situation. These exhaust bolts are not coming out. And instead, I'm just breaking them off. So we're using a huge breaker bar. It's coming up. I did apply some penetrating lube, but not enough. So make sure we go on left, counterclockwise, and Oops. But this is what's happening every time. Got the exhaust off, got these under panels off so you can see the drive shaft, the transmission. Obviously the transmission's gonna come out. So you can see here's the shifter cable. So we're gonna take that off. I'm gonna mark it just in case we ever wanna reuse this, but it's unlikely. The drive shaft, I assume is smaller than inline six, but not positive. Basically to pull the transmission off, what we gotta do is go up through here. I think there's a missing cover, but inside of there are going to be bell housing bolts. We're gonna actually get to it from this side right here. Right, that cover right there. We're going to take that off and use that to get to the bell housing, not bell housing bolts, sorry, torque converter bolts. We're gonna take the torque converter bolts out and that will free us, allow us to free the torque converter up, which you can see right through here. This is Chesapeake Motorworks. If you like this content and would like to see more, please like and subscribe. Quick update. It's so all gonna be blown out, but I got the drive shaft out sitting behind me. Keep it out of the dirt. The transmission's just hanging down here by itself, and all that's remaining right now is to actually just pull the bolts and get the transmission jack underneath of it so it should come out. We did the torque converter last time, and I did the rest of this off camera. You can shift it manually without the cable on it, it's really easy. With the cable on it, I wasn't able to do it, so you can stick it in neutral. Up here, turn, and you can stick it back in park. 
and actually I think because it's an auto, anything that's not parked will turn because it just goes to the torque converter. So we're gonna go ahead and get this out of here. I do have the U-jointed E-Torques, which makes this job about 20 million times easier than without them. One bolt I almost missed is this 10 millimeter up here. You probably can't see where I'm pointing, but it is up there. It holds this dust shield to the transmission and it comes in from the engine side. If you miss that, you're gonna fight with it and hate your life. Then if we come up here, you can see all the bell housing bolts on top because this is a very small transmission force four cylinder. This is actually a piece of cake. Here we go, the last bolt's off. Just kind of sitting there, and I got the lines off. Just a 19 millimeter for each on the side. Kind of tedious, but it can be done. I used crow's foot originally, and then just a standard wrench afterwards. Pull cool. this bolt out. It's got all kinds of oil over it. Because of that valve cover, gasket leak. And at this point, I think I'm ready to try. Pull this off, you can see it's already coming off. So now it's just kind of critical to get everything straight so it comes off relatively easy. It's always the hardest part. So kind of go up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, it's getting ready to come off by itself. You just kind of come back, a little wiggle. I think we're pretty much off. Um, okay, Let's see the flywheel there, so let me make sure, check what's going on, okay we're off on this side, what I do see is the starter might be coming with us, yeah, it is, and that starter should not be coming with us. Part of the problem is the pry bar can't get in between the found some transmission fluid. Okay, we're free. All right. Next problem we're gonna have. We're a little front heavy here. There we go. Make sure our wires are out of the way. And make sure. Good. I found all the transmission fluid apparently. Don't know how I did that. Transmission is out. The goal tonight is to get the engine out of this. I looked up and the power steering pump on the four cylinders is different than the six cylinders, although the rack is the same. I did confirm that. I will be taking the power steering pump off. AC compressor, 
as well as the lines going to the AC compressor are different on the 318i. The condenser is the same. So I can leave everything here, except the lines on the compressor itself are gonna come out the engine and get replaced with the ones from the 328. The power steering line's out. This under train, everything's gone. I decided that instead of pulling the engine from the top, we are gonna drop it out of the bottom. So I have the sway bar disconnected. Next thing is to take the brake calipers off. So the wheels need to come off as well. And that will allow us um, to leave the brakes here and hydraulically connected so they don't have to be bled. We come back here. We've got the fuel lines disconnected. You can kind of see them up there. And most of the stuff up top, there's a lot of progress there, has also been disconnected. All the electrical, I believe, is done at this point. We have the AC lines disconnected, so this one goes to the compressor under here. And there's one up top, there was no pressure in the system, so it definitely did not work. That's about it. It looks like the power steering, because we're going to drop the engine out of the bottom, should just drop out. Unfortunately, I did not record this. However, the engine is out. See, it came out. It's actually a very clean drop. I had help with it, so I just was too uh, tied up to actually record this. Everything electrically came out. This box does not need to be undone. Basically just subframe. You need to make sure you don't forget to unhook the air conditioner because that goes to the chassis harness. Come over here. You've got a little um, electrical clip that goes to the EVAP and then an EVAP line that would have come up here to the throttle body. You can't miss that. And then there's two heater hoses back here that you want to be careful with to make sure that they're both disconnected or else it's going to be a problem. Outside of that, what we did is we decided to leave the struts in the car and the calipers are zip tied up to the springs. That's part of the reason we decided to leave these struts in because that gave a nice um, location to actually tie everything up to. That's about it. So after this, we can pull the engine off the subframe, then mount the inline six back to it and just put it right back into the car. The splines here I marked so that hopefully we can at least get it close when it goes back in. The steering splines didn't want to come out when it was in the car. We loosened the subframe, so it was dropping down. So then what we did is we just decided to go for it. It came right out, no problems at all. 